He talks about being in the military and his service, I believe, in Afghanistan. And he puts a number to the number of people that he killed over in Afghanistan, which I don't know that much about the military. And if you do, again, please leave it below if this is some kind of unwritten rule or written rule saying that you don't talk specifically about the number of people that you kill in war. Um, to me, it would seem like that would heighten, that would that would create this immense security risk in, in actually admitting to killing a certain number of people of the other side. I mean, we know that when you go over there, there's a good chance, like there's lives that are going to be lost on both sides, um, but there's no specifics about it. And that kind of, that keeps a target off of your back. But when you do start to talk about specifics and say, you know, I killed this number of people, that gives the other side reason to target you. Like, hey, he's admitting this. He is admitting, you know, he is somebody specifically that we know for sure killed our people. Whereas like you, if you have a group of people, you know, some of them have probably shot the other side, some of them have killed the other side, but you don't know specifically who. And so it kind of keeps this vagueness over it that probably pro provides a level of protection. And so I thought that that was really, you know, kind of shocking that he would say something like this. Um, but I, I did come across an article in the New York Post where um, it says this former Marine Penn Farthing who coordinated the, the evacuation of cats and dogs from Kabul in August of 2021 said he had to leave the city because of Prince Harry's claim that the royal killed 25 Taliban soldiers during his tours of combat. Penn Farthing slammed Harry's autobiography Spare, which was released prematurely in Spain last week, as badly judged. Um, Farthing 53 said Friday, uh, said Friday, Harry's revelations about the prince's time in Afghanistan Afghanistan have put his own life in danger. Um, and this, this um, you know, Farthing said he left Kabul, leaving behind his work with animal shelters because of the potential reprisal attacks on ex-forces of people like me. So he has had to, um, uh, to be relocated because of the danger that this poses. So, you know, like I said, I'm not part of the military. I don't know um, exactly what all of this means, but if you if you do know exactly how that works or what soldiers are told, um, please leave that in the comments because I'm very interested to know. But it seems really tasteless to put that in the book, just really irresponsible. 